Till she rolled in like a tropical storm Waves grew high and the water got cold Clouds began to cover the sun She's raising the ruckus just for fun I looked around, saw everybody running to find shelter, there's a storm a coming. Got myself in a mess again. But I like a little trouble in now and then. She's a hurricane, and she tore the place apart. She's a hurricane, and she's breaking everybody's heart. No, nothing's gonna be the same since she rode through that day. Coming to us up in that. Uh, how long have you guys been playing together? Uh, as a band, about seven years. No, I mean you two. As oh, brothers. us. I don't uh, know. Probably 15, high school, yeah. er, early high school, I think. So, and then uh, the rest of the band jumped in. And now yeah, we're, how did that now happen? We're here. How did everybody find each other? We went to high school with Gio back here on the bass, and um, we kind of started playing together a few years back, and then uh, found Phil, who's from State College, Pennsylvania put up a posting. He was going to school at the uh, Conservatory of uh, Music in San Francisco for violin performance and put up like a, you know, Craigslist doesn't work for musicians usually because uh, I don't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I put up like a piece of binder paper, uh, I, like I wrote out. school does still, like don't get me wrong. Yeah, still yeah. It. Love it. It's a high art, I think, but anyways, continue. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like wrote out, like looking for a fiddle player on a piece of binder paper and put it up at the Conservatory of Music and uh, he called us up one day <clears throat> and now he is right here. And, well, Josh, we met a few years back. Uh, he used to play with this band called Water Tower Bucket Boys. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we played some shows with them and he's been kind of filling in on fiddle here and there. And uh, we kind of stole him from Wisconsin for these uh, couple shows around here. We got Ryan Avalone back here on the mandolin. We met him years ago in uh, Santa Cruz. And uh, yeah. So as brothers, have you two always been friendly with each other? No, no. Yeah. 
We're, we're getting better yeah. at it. But uh, when we were kids, we used to have kicking fights and punching fights. Physical, very physical. Pretty physical, but yeah. It's just mostly verbal now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bickering. And now you're in Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then. Two fiddlers also. Is there any like uh, rivalry between you two ever? I mean, you can do a little <laughs> do well, I don't there. play classical music, so he's got that front down. And I don't play bluegrass music, so he's got that. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting we in stay out of each other's way. <laughs> what is the bluegrass scene like in San Francisco these days? Uh, it's actually pretty good. I mean, there's uh, that festival, Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. Huge, huge festival. And I think that's like helped create a scene. Um, people come from all over for that festival, like, you know, half a million people, something like that. And, um, and I mean, there's great venues playing, or, you know, weekly bluegrass nights and everything, and uh, it's been really nice. It's been great, I mean. Do you guys have peers that you tour with, or like as openers, like playing shows together? Yeah, there's a bunch of people around, um, I mean, in the city, countless bands that are friends of ours that we kind of run around with, but. Poor Man's Whiskey is one that I've heard. Yeah, I used to live next door to uh, the singer of Poor Man's Whiskey, nice. and yeah, good friends of ours. And the T Sisters, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know know them well, yeah. Um, yeah. Right on. You guys were born and raised there, huh? Petaluma, California. Petaluma. Yeah. He lives there now. We're born and raised there, and uh, yeah, it's old stomping grounds. <coughs> uh, you got another song to play for us? Sure. Yes, we do. Actually, you want to do some two dollar bill, bluegrassy? Shall we? Sure. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're doing an old bluegrass song. This is John, right? John? Yes. I was wondering if maybe you'd get Bear, uh, Ben a pair of scissors, cut off his pants, and then you could play guitar and he could ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. That's good? Yeah. Well, I lost all my money, but a two dollar bill, two dollar bill, oh, two dollar bill. Lost all my money, but a two dollar bill, and I'm on my own journey home. Plenty in the west end, it looks like rain. It looks like rain, Lord, it looks like rain. Plenty in the whiskey, it looks like rain. And I'm on my long journey home. Lost all my money, but a two dollar bill. Two dollar bill, Lord, a two dollar bill. Lost all my money, but a two dollar bill.
man, those 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 vocal harmonies are so tight. <laughs> so tight. How do you how do you work those out? How does that happen? Um, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were doing our ridiculous vocal warm-ups out in the parking lot right before this. Uh, that helps for sure. But uh, the brother thing, I think it's like we got the same, you know, DNA. That that definitely helps. And then Josh is just kick ass, and Gio's just kick ass, and coming in and singing. And I don't know, like you just kind of got to do it a bunch to try to figure out like how it all blends in together. Uh, I think we have a different singing style than than Gio at least. So it took him a little bit to like try to figure out how to get slack jawed enough, I guess. Because <laughs> we, you know, like, uh, we slur our words all the time. It's not just Valerie, like, it's Valerie. Valerie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of practice, I guess, yeah. Yeah, well, one nice thing about playing acoustic instruments is that you can bring them pretty much anywhere. Mm -hmm. right? You can play pretty much anywhere. Where, what's the unlikeliest place that you guys have set up to play? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, Oh, there was that one time, the uh, tire pulling uh, oh, contest. Yeah, yeah. tire race. Yeah, yeah, we, oh. <laughs> it was the earliest gig we've ever played and we all had tires, tractor tires strapped to our backs while we're playing instruments, running down like a pathway, like, and then stopping and then turning around and coming back. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. It was a, what was this? It was, somebody like asked us to come and play this thing called Sunday Streets in San Francisco where it's like a big old party. They close down a street in San Francisco and throw a party. This was out by the ocean. And um, one of the like events that was going on is just this tire tractor pull race, where every, you know everybody straps harnesses on, runs down, and runs back. It's like a strength training kind of deal. But they asked us if we would do it with our instruments, and uh, you know you said what the hell, and so we strapped instruments on. And, and the funniest was Geo, I think, trying to <laughs> running with the bass, pulling a tire, and uh, actually Phil, you you like flipped at one point and like did a barrel roll with your fiddle in your. <laughs> That was the weirdest place we've ever played at. Also, think. one time we played a, a wedding, which is not weird, but uh, weren't, you, weren't you in like a tractor? Did you, or a wheelbarrow? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe, Joe, you were pulling me in a wheelbarrow, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it was like a, a hand truck. Yeah. 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 Okay, well. <laughs> Some weird, weird, so. weird stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, so. good answer. <laughs> uh, you know, normally I make it a policy to not ask a band about the origin of their name, but with you guys, I feel like I have to make an exception because it's such a, a unique name. What's yeah. the story behind that? Uh, well, if you, I don't know. See it. It's, yeah, I, give, give a demonstration. So basically, oh, Alex, it. Alex, when his eye, when he gets into playing his banjo, his eyes like roll into the back of his head, and uh, let's give him a quick demonstration of that. <laughs> it happens a couple times a show, so you gotta look closely to catch it. Have you seen a doctor about that? <laughs> I used to do it like every song, but I've been trying to like you know get better and not. <laughs> not on purpose though. I yeah, guess it was purpose. like. Uh, yeah. So I think that was like a subconscious, you know, sliding in there, and musical <laughs> coma of some sort, and we're brothers, and it just kind of popped into my head one day, and um, yeah. But also, we used to party a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's true, yeah. too. <laughs> parents are into the name also? Yeah, yeah. So name the band after, you know, your own name. Yeah, parents are fine. Yeah, they're cool. We call them uh, Papa Toast and Mama Toast. Actually, so they're totally cool they, they with that too. They're in the band as well. They're so. in the band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they would like to be. They would like to be. Well, you mentioned that song, Valerie. You guys do a bunch of interesting covers, but that one in particular is, is really interesting in that that's kind of a, an obscure song, right? Like the Zootons wrote it, yeah. British band, but then Amy Winehouse made it famous. Yeah. How did you guys come across that? Uh, Amy Winehouse, actually. Um, I'm a huge Amy Winehouse fan. Uh, yeah. And, uh, He's a huge Ween fan. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of learned that song one day, and then um, first time we ever played it was the, the day that she died, actually. Because uh, I like, had learned it, and then she passed away. I found out, and I was pretty, pretty uh, sad about it. And so we all played it that day. And um, it's kind of been in the, in the set list every once in a while. We actually just recorded it, too. I think we're going to put it on the new album, so um, should we, just do we should play that song. Yeah. Is, that what this, is that what this whole segue is leading to right now? Yeah, See that one up. All right. This is called Valerie. Sometimes I go out by myself And I look across the water And I think of all the things And what you're doing 
And in my head I paint a picture Since I come home Well my body's been a mess I miss your gender And the way you like to dress Won't you come on over Stop making a fool out of me Shopping lately, where change the color of your hair? Are you busy? I hope you didn't catch a tan. I hope you found the right man. Are you still dizzy? Since I come home, well, my body's been a mess. Miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dress Won't you come on over Stop making a fool out of me Come on over song so I understand you have a very tender relationship with your tour van 
Um, we do. We had a more tender relationship with our old tour van, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's someone new in your life. Somebody new. It's just, it's still getting there, but, you know, uh, I think we're, we're still getting used to each other. We're in the, you know, infant stages. I mean, we had this, old, this awesome, like, old um, 88 Chevy G20 conversion van. Uh, beautiful, like, red with racing stripes and all kinds of stuff, like safari windows on the top, and, uh, um, yeah. That's, we lived in that thing for the first couple years that we had it, and, and, it, and it died. I mean, you know, not lived all the time, but most of the time. But anyway, it, it died uh, a little over a year ago, so um, it sucks. It's sad, I know. It's, sitting, it's still sitting in our parents' driveway in Petaluma, unfortunately uh, for them. But uh, we're trying to figure out something cool to do with it, though. So if anybody has any suggestions, holler it out. Right. We got we got a song, a song about it. Yeah. Can you sing that song now that that van is no longer yours? Yeah, sure. We can do that song. Definitely. Yeah. It's like one of the things. You know how like old cars, people have sentiments toward them because it's like, oh man, they when you know when they used to make cars, they used to care. They used to like design them cool. Or they used to have a little character. And then now the newer cars, everybody's like, oh, they're all plastic. And so what? They get 500 miles to the gallon. It just doesn't matter. It's not the same. So that's what this van, the old van. It had character. I mean, it had like velvet. The inside was like the velvet living room, you know. So, and now the new one's great. You know, it's like you can hear the radio and stuff on the highway. But, uh, <laughs> it doesn't have the same. Uh, yeah. The new one has air conditioning. Yeah. So now it's up to you to give it some character. You got to live in the thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, trying to yes. off-road that thing every chance we get. <laughs> van zone. No? Van sure. Song. Yeah. Let's yeah. do the van zone. All right. Cool. Nice. Oh, yeah.
that song that I, I can't help but think about, and it shouldn't be in my head, but it is. But after we released that album, Respect the Van, you sent it out to a bunch of people to get reviewed, and I remember somebody reviewed that, and they were like, some of the lyrics are a little bit lacking, like the song, The Van Song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Respect her or she'll <laughs> kick your ass. I was like, like let's not send She wrote those back. lyrics. <laughs> it was personal. It was personal. I took it personal. It appears that you guys have fun while you're playing. Yeah. Is it as fun as it looks? I mean, good God. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's great. Very physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like to get weird, I think. That's what helps workout. us. Yeah, yeah. That's the word I would use to describe tight. what just went down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weird. Got weird. Got weird. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. We're very friendly. Yeah. Uh, the song of yours that, uh, that speaks most to my heart is Pie for Breakfast. Nice. Pie is the best good. dessert, and I can go on at length about that, but I yeah. won't. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if that song was born from experience. Gio wrote it, actually. He'll, he can tell you all yeah, about it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I, have, uh, I have two daughters now. One, one, the older one is, uh, she's four and a half. Her name's Stella Jean. Uh, we were on tour about four and a half years ago. <laughs> up in the, up in the, we were just passed, passed through Portland. The next stop was the Tractor Taverns. We were up in Seattle. And it was a snowy morning, and I was up early, and I had gone down. There's a little place that is called Pie, and it's right in the Fremont District. So uh, if you ever go there and get Paseo for lunch, which you should, the other stop uh, can be Pie. You can have some pie for lunch or for breakfast. But I had some pie for breakfast, and then uh, later that morning, we were just in the van, and, uh, and that chorus showed up, and then the rest of it was pieced together in like the, the months afterwards. There's fruit and pie. Yeah, that's, There's, uh, I mean, breakfast. Yeah. It's basically like a turnover. Yeah. Never feel like you have to justify your breakfast. Words to live by. And if you can't tell, I'm, I'm like setting up the set here. So. Yeah. yeah, you're doing great. You want to transition great, yeah. to another song? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> How about we do pie for breakfast? Great idea. Yeah. All right.
Happy to know that uh, Seattle served as inspiration for that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's great. <laughs> right on. Shout out to Seattle. Uh, <laughs> can I see that list? <laughs> well, um, maybe you could do one more song and then we'll open up uh, to QA with the crowd. Uh, if you're okay to transition to one more. What do you guys want to hear? Yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. You're on it, man. <laughs> yeah. How many more things we got? Oh, cool. Sweet. I gotta tell you real quick, I, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Carlo? Yes. Hey, this is for Carlo. All right. It's called Chippin' On Down. Oh. Tripping on down the mountain, tripping on down the mountainside. Trail blazing, gotta get a little going tonight. Tripping on down the mountain, tripping on down the mountainside. Trail blazing, gotta get where we're going to. Lightning rod, kings in the snow patch, talking to God and realize I can't come down here. Driven on down the mountain, driven on down the mountainside, driven on down the mountain, driven on down the mountainside, driven on down the mountain, driven on, on down the mountainside, driven on down the mountain, driven on down the mountainside. Trail blazing, gotta get where we're going to land.
Thank you. Excellent work with the egg shaker. Excellent work with the egg shaker. Did you read the New York Times article about egg shakers that came out last Sunday? No. It's brilliant. Wow. It's really good. It's an ode to the egg shakers. Yeah. If that's your thing. Yeah. All right. I'm not even playing into it anyway, so. Um, so I'm sure there are people in the audience that would like to ask a question or two. Is there anybody out there that has a question for the band? Okay, maybe not. Cool. Awkward. Over here. What's up? Over there. Um, I was wondering how you each kind of came to your instruments and learned to play them. How did you guys come to your instruments? Do you want to start, Phil? Go across the... Uh, what is it, ayahuasca? Is that the stand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started playing this house for a little. So. I, I don't know. I just like the violin, I guess. That's it. I started uh, finger picking guitar style and I just picked up a banjo and just kind of created my own picking style on banjo that's kind of derivative of guitar, so that's why I play it. I play the most ubiquitous of all <laughs> instruments and there was just one laying around our house our dad used to play, so I guess that's, you know, just yeah. picked it up one day, stuck with it. How about you, buddy? Uh, I guess early blues music, I started playing guitar and then fiddle, old time fiddle in high school and then bluegrass and Cajun from there. Yeah. What about the egg shaker? Egg shaker is, uh, I've been doing that since I was in the womb, so. We feel like a twin brother sketch. That's super gross. Uh, my older brother gave me a guitar when I was 15, played that for about 10 years, and then came across this guy. Ukulele. This is a ukulele. <laughs> uh, no, I worked at a music shop in Santa Cruz, and uh, we had all kinds of things laying around, so I picked up the mandolin and love it. Do you? Um, my dad had a guitar, and when I was in seventh grade, I went to the one guy at our little uh, grade school who played guitar. I was like, hey, I play guitar. Let's play in a band. He's like, I already play guitar. So you can play drums, and I sucked at drums, and he told me that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you can play the bass. I was like, what's the bass? And then he, his dad had like an old uh, electric bass, so I played that. Um, and then uh, I went to college for jazz studies, and. I showed up with my like five string electric rock machine. They're like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so, so they gave me the upright and then I got, I got the upright. Yeah. I actually have to change my answer. I was embarrassed to say this, but actually Blink-182 is the reason I play music. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh wow. grade. Wow. All so right. I picked up yeah. guitar in the first well, game. Your yeah. Now yeah, we're getting buddy. real. <laughs> Any other questions from the audience? Ooh. Ooh. Leon, me, Leon Bridges for me. I was, oh, yeah. I was yeah. Yeah. Was His Gold Messenger, Leon Bridges. Yeah. yeah. Tune Yards were pretty amazing last yeah. night, too. Yeah. Uh, Great Big that. Dog, Cloud Nothings, Meat Bodies. <laughs> Rock. There was another. Dude, Rock. We go to so many festivals, yeah, and it's just like ding dong, ding a ling, ding ding, like Band all day long. Her. And I was like, oh my God. So. <laughs> true. Yeah. It's true. So we finally we finished our set on the main stage on Friday, and Cloud Nothing started up right next to us, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I miss, I miss, I miss the old rock roots sometimes. Yeah. Rodrigo Amarante. Yeah. 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 Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, I think you guys have uh, one more for us that might involve some crowd participation. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna switch up. Uh, we, we basically, so we brought a bunch of chopsticks. We used to do this at shows all the time. We don't do it that often anymore, but we have a bunch of chopsticks we're gonna pass out to everybody in the crowd so you can play drums with us on this next song. I know everybody's got like one of those metal cups put in your lap and bang on it. We got chairs and stuff. We need you guys to make a lot of noise on this next one.
Everybody got chopsticks? You good to go? Ready? All right, here we go. Don't be afraid to bang loud, all right? Thank you guys. How about one more round of applause for the Brothers Comatose? Give it up. <laughs> 